stuff in there bud a good two hours of footage going to test out the oil pump on the Grom so after we film that I go home put the GoPro on my desk I plug it in I go to watch all the footage back to edit it and I get like my drink ready I'm good to edit and then the audio is just gone on every single clip I think what it was is it was probably I was using I just tried to shift to six <laughs> I use my old Rurock helmet which has an older mic and it. it's got like a purple panda mic the helmet i'm using now the new shark helmet has like a really nice road mic and all that all brand new stuff so i think what it was is that old mic probably just didn't connect with this media mod on the gopro that well um hey william back there but i lost every single clip it was just a straight buzzing noise and i was just i was so upset dude i wanted to just like cry and punch myself in the face i don't know we're refilming it now, it's fine, I'm not that upset anymore, but yeah, I lost a lot of footage, so a little upsetting. <laughs> curtain. That's just what you get with this kind of uh, hobby, I guess, this camera stuff, sometimes it's going to fail, and I just got to work around it, but oh man, I'm so pissed though, it was like a super freaking good video, I just knew it. I mean, every time I go film and I get back, I just know like if it's going to be a banger or not or if it was just like a complete waste of time and that, it would have been a good video for sure. But it's all right, nothing we can do about it. Now we can just make a better video, so. Oh, hit it. <laughs> like that? Oh, shit. <laughs> That poor tire, bro. What are you doing, boy? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the sheesh. Fuck yeah. That poor Grom, dude. <laughs> I'm so paranoid with all the camera stuff right now because of what happened last time. So let's see. Oh yeah, we recording. We're good. What am I? Dang, he's still wheeling that whole thing. <laughs> all right, let me get the uh, let me get a hang of this wheelie thing again, and then we'll talk about the uh, pump. <laughs> Big pothole. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm warmed up. We're good. All right. So, uh, essentially, I'm gonna kill this so I can let it cool down a little bit. So, essentially, when you're on a Grom, it kind of goes the same for any kind of motor with oil <laughs> because I mean, it's physics, you know. But uh, so right now. When your Grom's filled with oil, you know, it's kind of just chilling. The whole thing isn't completely full. The oil is kind of just chilling at a certain level. Um, when you wheelie a Grom and the front wheel comes up to here, the oil in the, the, oil in the case rushes to the back, so it's kind of sitting right here. But your oil pump is like right here. And so when your front wheel is up in the air, the oil pump is no longer submerged in oil. So if you're doing a long enough wheelie, 
that pump is no longer picking up oil and cycling it through everywhere so you're kind of starving the engine for oil so the pump i got from grom beardo is a modded oem oil pump and it actually has a tube connected to the pump and it flows to the back so the tube somewhere over here and that way no matter how high or low your front wheel is that tube's always picking up oil and always running oil through the system so that way you're never starving the engine for oil like doing super long wheelies and stuff i'm not really at that stage yet but i want to be soon so i'd rather start off with the right stuff you know and not have to worry about it later on but yeah we got that installed super easy to do oh my gosh i'm cooking right now standing in the sun but yeah super easy install um he actually has a very very detailed video which is why i didn't do like a full install video of it because he already he already has such a really he already has such a good video on how to install it that it'd be kind of a waste of my time and a waste of your time to watch mine instead of his. If the mic gets blown out, I'm sorry, it's so hot. <laughs> I gotta leave a visor open. I think we pissed everybody off in Utah on the way here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go film a little bit. Oh, it's so rocky over here now. There's like always someone in there just smoking it up, dude. You can smell it right when you ride past, it just hits you. I hate it. So like my left hand, I'm gonna close this. My left hand, it gets blisters on these last three fingers. Um, because I used to like, I used to clutch up with just my index finger. And I think that would make me roll my hand back and get blisters. But now I clutch up with my middle finger and I don't get blisters on this hand. But now I get them on this hand. So I'm like screwed. Every time we take the Groms out, I just like have blood all inside the glove right here. It's so bad. Uh, anyways, but uh, Grom Beardo, yeah, super, super cool dude. Me and him were talking. I was like, yo, do you want to help each other out? Like if you could discount me a pump or something, which they're only 80 bucks, I think. I think about 80 bucks, which is absolutely nothing. But I mean, like, you know, me and him can help each other out a little bit. Then I mean, you know, that works. But he was willing just to send me out the oil pump completely free. So like insanely cool with him. If you guys can, please go uh, follow his Instagram, especially his YouTube, because I know he's trying to build up his YouTube. Um, all of his, he rides like Groms and little 125s and 50s and stuff. But insanely cool dude, he really hooked it up. Hey buddy. I hope that guy's chill. <laughs> Uh oh, is he coming this way? No, we're good. Um, what was I saying? I keep losing my train of thought. I just do a wheelie and like, I think the blood rushes back to my brain just like it does in the engine case and I start starving my brain for oil. If you're gonna do any kind of stunning or whatever on your Grom, you plan on like learning wheelies, just get the pump now and just get it over with and there's no reason really like not to run it because it's always picking up oil no matter what whether it's on the kickstand you're riding flat you're doing a wheelie it's always picking up oil so there's no reason not to there's that freaking blister <laughs> poor tire dude A smile. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hit the brake on that one. <laughs> Freaking Mario. <laughs> I 
if this audio is messed up for this video too, I'm going to quit YouTube. This is going to be sketchy, but I kind of want to try to shift a third mid wheelie. This is going out of my comfort zone. <laughs> oh, there's no way. <laughs> no, not going to happen. The second I changed my grip, I was like, nope. That's so much better. I'm almost getting to that balance point. Like, I feel it. You can't really tell someone where the balance point is on these. You just got to, like, touch it a little bit. That sounds wrong. You just got to hit the point just a little bit, and then you know exactly where it's at. And you, the first time you do it, you feel so much comfortable. It's just finding it for that first time. You're either going to loop it, or you're going to find it perfect. <laughs> he was so happy. I thought he was coming to chew us out. <laughs> I just tried. <laughs> I I can't do it. You could probably do it. Oh no! That was a bad one. Oh, it's hard. That was a bad one. No. I knew it, bro. Every time I try to shift, that's how I lose last time. Are you good? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. See, my bars are done. That sucks. Yeah, your your bars are done. Shit. This kind of is touching the swing arm now. Hey, your shifter's still good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no low brass, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, uh-huh. Chopped up back there. Damn. That was a good one, dude. Are you filming? I am, right? No way. I was, but <laughs> I got it all. It's that freaking kick it gives you when you let the clutch back out, that bump. Yeah. And you're not used to how high that is. Yeah, I was so excited I kind of just let off. That blows, dude. I didn't think is your stem all still good and everything? No cracks? Uh -oh. You might need to, uh, look, your bushing popped out. I'm glad I was filming because you weren't. <laughs> I thought I was, that sucks. I just filmed an outro, which means I probably didn't get that either. Yeah, imagine going home and there's no audio on your videos. That'd suck too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did a number on it this time. I mean, it's still rideable. He just went to get his backpack and of course, you know, Stetson, he just ripped a wheelie right after looping it. But, uh, damn, my key is like stuck. Here we go. So that's been. Where's your bushing? Yeah, that's pop. I'm surprised your bolts to the clamp didn't break before that. You just ripped the bushing out. This Grom's never gonna die, dude, I swear. <laughs> I mean, it's still rideable, obviously, but not comfortable enough for wheelies and stuff. I think I completely jinxed it because, like, right before that happened, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to shift a third mid wheelie. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And he gets the same idea, and that's when he loops it. 